I loves me Glide's delivery day. Look at those little cuties. Pro Chem 7 inch stair tools. They haven't made them forever. You can tell by that uh, iconic shape there. They're just like the uh, quads and the, the uh, titaniums. But they still sell. I wouldn't say like hotcakes, but at least uh, stale blueberry muffins. Next layer. Looks like a Pro Chem hole. Very nice. I needed some of those, as you can see. I was down to two. I hate getting that low, but every once in a while, someone's going to order 10 or 20 of one model at a time, and it just upsets me. <laughs> Oops, a little guy. Every layer. It's like a glide lasagna. What are these? These are, uh, oh, cool. These are for my favorite little triangle headed wand. We've gone bridgeless. Let me show you what that means. So here's a old hybrid. That's a real old one. I wouldn't have uh, actually accepted that, but this is from back in the day. New hybrid. See the diff? Super cool. Way less junk for hair to collect on. Much easier to clean out. Easier to fit. Yeah, I've showed this before, but you're wondering, huh, how did they get air where those bridges are? Bridges or plugs, whatever you want to call them. Check this. <laughs> you won't find that on no Chinese glide. Badass. Whole version. All right. Da -da -da -da. How cool is that? Man, I just put a hole on my triangle, and I'm so dang tight that I probably won't try this. <laughs> I'll sell it to somebody. But between the edge and then the little popcorn kernel sucker mucker, I mean, you'll probably still have to poke things out of there like any other hole. But, man, that guy is so good. Next box. Good old Pro Chem tie undersize. You tie guys know what that means. There was about 10% of these Pro Chem tie was built uh, just a little smaller. No way to visually visually uh, figure that out. You got to put a well, you got to put a regular size glide on it. Watch it wiggle, or you got to uh, calipers. Calibers, calibers will tell you. It's a one millimeter difference. Hybrids. Pro Kim tie and hybrids go together like peanut butter and cheese. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Believe it or not, these, look at that, 16 and a half, I can't even stick my arm out that far. 16 and a half inch PMF. Uh, they don't even make these anymore, but I sell quite a bit of these. They always catch me off guard. I think, ah, no one's going to order those, and someone will order three. Look at that thing. We'll just put it next to a Pro Cam. A monster. Sheesh. Ah, next box. AW29. Ooh, Chip's going to like that. Look at all them butlers. 14 hole. 12 hole, 12 slot. Oh, there's a new, a new style of 12. That should be it. Yeah, this is the new external 12 that they just came out with a year or so ago. That, let me show you. Yeah, the one on the left is the old single jet, straight bend, hydro hole lookalike. And then this is the butler that looks like all the other butlers with the attic space and the rubber access ports. So we now have those in stock. Got to remember, remind myself to put those on the website. Speaking of cheese and bread or whatever the heck I said earlier, these are my staples. One of my number one sellers, AW29s. I can go through 50 of those a month on uh, the typical month. Second to last. Huh? 42. These are, uh, geez, I don't remember ordering that many. These LP3s, that's the, uh, we'll call that the Sapphire Westpac. Um, Australia will buy 20, 30 of these at a time. And it's the, uh, obviously the internal, well, actually, no, this isn't the Sapphire. Sapphire is external, which, 
which, which, which. Oh gosh, where the heck are they? There we go. External, looks like a Pro Chem quad almost. But for the life of me, I don't remember ordering 43. <laughs> Probably good for a year now. Look for a sale of a Westpac 12-inch low-profile apply drill soon.